Newton's law of motion states that an object in motion stays in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Why do I say this? Because the science fair is back and stronger than ever. Michael Rodriguez reports. The Invention Convention, also known as the Washington Park School Science Fair, is back with some of the most unique projects around. We explored the exhibition floor and asked some of the 67 student teams to explain what their devices can do. There were many parameters set by Ms. Leskowitz, the 8th grade science teacher and coordinator of the science fair. This year's science fair, um, students had to come up with a solution to a problem in our community. So it could have been a problem at home, in our school, or anywhere in our town. And students had to create a model of their invention that solved the problem. They had to write an essay and create a PowerPoint um, to share their presentation, kind of like Shark Tank. Our invention is a PVC pipe, which has three easy-to-use attachments, which will go on this PVC pipe and can help you attach your Christmas lights on your high trees, outdoor trees, and your roof. Our invention is a cheaper and safer way to put on lights onto your house and trees without paying five or a thousand to five thousand dollars to get it professionally done and without getting hurt trying to put it on yourself. So here's the adjustable PVC pipe. Here are the three attachments demonstrated here. This is the clip which will help you attach your Christmas lights onto your roof. So the Christmas lights along with the clips that attach to your roof, the clip will attach in this attachment. It will push the clip onto your roof, which will attach all the lights. This is a utility hook, which will help you detach the lights from your roof. And here is the angled PVC pipe. This is the angled PVC. As you go higher with your stick and around the tree, the the lights go through the PVC so that way they hook onto the tree and without you having to climb a ladder. It's called the speeder reader and it's basically a speed bump that makes noise when drivers speed. So this invention is when cars are like going over the speed limit it makes a noise to warn you how fast like you're going and try to slow down. With every new invention, there is a practical use if it is going to succeed. Each individual project serves a unique purpose. We chose it because we thought it would be good, like helpful to people so they don't get hurt and so people can save money and not pay professionals to do something that can be really easy like with using this. So we chose this so that way you don't have to pay for people to do it for you and that way you don't have to risk yourself going onto your roof to put on your own lights. We're kids in Totowa and speeding is a big problem especially because it's such a small town and we bike ride, we do everything and speeding just isn't very good. Totowa is surrounded by several major roads including the Garden State Parkway, Route 80 and Route 46. With speeding being a major problem many accidents can occur. In the summertime, many children are outside and they're playing. And if a car is speeding and it's going over the speed limit when they're not supposed to, children can run um, into the road and an accident can happen. Throughout the years of the science fair, Ms. Leskowitz has coordinated and has been the head of the science fair. Uh, the science fair has been going on for over 25 years, first at Memorial School and then here at Washington Park. This year we had 67 presentations. All of the 8th grade students in all of the 8th grade classes were able to participate. Those teams have all agreed that the science fair was a great learning experience. We hope the future inventors will have the same success with their projects. Mike Rodriguez, TBN.